as you can see, we've got our two holes that we punched in. They go clean through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to knock the uh, anti-spalling off with my grinder. Try to smooth out the uh, the plate where it's peeled up, and then I've got a couple of a couple of carriage bolts. I'm going to try to slide through there, and then sandwich between a nut and washer, and then that'll give me a stud that I can then capture uh, a chain link between another nut and washer. So we will see how this works out. I hit the uh, hit the holes with the grinder and knock the sharp bits off that peeled through when the AP rounds came through and then I just knocked the corners off these carriage bolts and I think this will help the help the bolt heads set in nicely laying nice and flat and flush on the front of the uh, on the front of the plate so as you can see I've got one in and it sets just about flush so I think once we get sandwiched between the nut and the washer and the and the, uh, the chain and the washer and another nut I think it'll pull in fairly fairly flat and the quarter inch bolt sits in there pretty good so let me uh, let me see how nuts and washers go see if I got the right size wrench close by well, as luck would have it, I do have the right size wrench here in the back of my truck. Uh, I say it's the right size. The nuts are 7 16 The wrench I have in my truck is an 11 millimeter, which, surprise, surprise, 11 16 Part 7 16 and 11 millimeter are the same wrench. Neat. Oh. This is actually a little bit harder than it looks trying to run a wrench one handed. So I'm going to shut this off and get that tightened up. Stand by one. Past the section that the vice grips bit into the bolt when I was trying to knock the corners off the carriage bolt section. Made the threads a little a little boogered up. Had to work past that. Once I got past that I was able to spin the nut down by finger until we got close in. So let's see how we look on this side. Oh yeah, that looks like that's going to lay in nice and flat. Be able to catch it on the back side here with some chain. Capture that between nuts and washers and hang it. I think we'll have a perfectly good gong. Next up, find some chain. Half mile sniper here and I am uh, Making a run over to the range real quick. I spent some time today with a little bit of rebar and built a, a uh, stand for the armor plate that I adapted last night to uh, be a gong. And if everything goes right, I'm gonna hopefully at least be able to test it out with a couple of shots today. Uh, I'm gonna try a different 762 on the plate. I'm going to do a little Russian round, 762 by 25, just to, just to be different. So, we'll uh, check back with y'all in a few after I get to the range. Hopefully, Everything showed up on video, and this is the uh, this will be the final section for the uh, for the upload. Uh, 
As I stated before, it appeared that the gong and stand worked perfectly as designed or intended, and uh, I was very pleased with that. The gun I was using was a Romanian Tokarov in 7.62 by 2.5. It's a pretty hot pistol round. Well, it's used in rifle as well, but it's a pretty hot pistol round moving out about 1,700 feet per second, I think. And uh, it definitely had the plate dancing around, at least from what I could see through the sights. Uh, again, well, hopefully this all turned out well on video and everybody likes it. And if you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll keep trying to make up some more shooting videos and get them loaded up for y'all. Until then, half a mile sniper out. Real quick here, just so you can see what I did. I took some half inch rebar, built a kind of a small pyramid with a very long arm, and then I bent it back into kind of a double edge and brought it back parallel to the deck, which put the weight of the plate pretty much over the center of the. Uh, of the stand and then uh, using just two quarter inch steel pins gave myself a, a hanging point to hang the uh, chains over just to hold everything in place and I'm very pleased with the way that it uh, functioned uh, at least Again, looking at it through the sights, we'll see how it how it uh, bounced around on camera. The uh, Tokarov, that's seven six two by two five, seems to be hitting a little bit high. My actual aim point was right here, and all my hits were here in the upper portion. So... Send it. Good.